Hi, I'm Kathy Brown from The Teacher's Pet, and I'd like to introduce you to the Fat Quarter Cutter Ruler. This ruler is really unique in that it takes your fat quarters or yardage and cuts them into the pre-cut shapes that are very popular in the market today. We've got your two and a half inch strips that you can cut, your five inch strips from here to here. This ruler will cut your five inch charms. It will also cut your two and a half by five inch bars. It will cut two and a half inch squares. We've got two of those. And if you turn the ruler upside down, you get all your one and a half divisions. You've got your one and a half inch strips here, 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 and again here. You've also got a six inch square that you can cut and your one and a half inch squares. So let me show you how this ruler works. When you have a fat quarter, the first thing you'd like to do is get a square edge to start cutting with. And you can take your ruler or your mat and turn it sideways to get the length that you need or the width that you need to cut your fat quarter. And for the purpose of a fat quarter, I always like to determine um, the usable space as a 16 by 20 instead of an 18 by 22. Because as we all know, fat quarters are all not all created equal. So what I'm going to do is take this fat quarter and I'm going to slice off an edge to get a straight edge. And we'll get rid of that. Then I'll turn my mat sideways. Line up the ruler to get a straight edge and make the second cut. From this point, anything is fair game. You've got all the different cuts that you can make with this ruler. And first we'll cut a two and a half inch strip. So what this allows you to do is take all of your stash that you have, and we all have tons of fat quarters, and cut it into the popular cuts today. Here's your two and a half inch strip. We can also take that and move it over and get your five inch strips. Once you have something like a five inch strip or a two and a half, you can take, let's move the rest of this fat quarter out of the way and just use the five inch as an example. You can take your ruler then, turn it sideways, and with the markings for your five inch square, you can now cut your very own charm squares. Just like that. If you want to come back, yes, you've got your five inch width here, you can still cut a five inch square, or you could come back and cut a two and a half inch by five and a half by five inch rectangle. But first, let's do this. We're going to cut the two and a half inch squares. Now, that's marked as a two and a half inch square and a two and a half inch square, but what you've actually gotten is your two and a half by five. Um, bar. Turn that on its side, put your ruler in place, and you end up with your two, two and a half inch squares. Now let's take the same piece that we cut just a moment ago, turn it back vertically, and turn our ruler over. We put the ruler on the edge, and we've got our one and a half inch strips. And here's a one and a half inch strip. We take the one and a half inch strip and turn it around. Put your ruler on its markings. And even if it does just like I did right here, it slipped out of place, it doesn't matter. You've got your markings to put your um, to put over your strip so that you get it exactly like it should be, line it up, and cut your one and a half inch strips.
easy as pie. Another unique part about this ruler that you might want to know is that if you look at it, all of your markings, they're divisible by five. Your five inch charms, your two and a half by five inch bars, and your two and a half by two and a half squares, as well as your two and a half inch strips, all have the black markings. So as you're using this side of your ruler reading up, you see that everything is in black and everything is noted in black. Turn your ruler over to the six inch divisions, which are your one and a halves, your three, your four and a half. Everything is in white as you go up the side of the ruler and you see your divisions. So this ruler will cut all of those different shapes and give you opportunities that you haven't had in the past in taking your own stash, using those backwaters, and cutting them up into these popular cuts and making a lot of quilts.